hello, welcome, or welcome back to the channel. My name is Melissa. I do YouTube lifestyle vlogs about my weight loss journey, health, uh, school, moving, all those sorts of fun things. So if you're interested in any of that kind of content, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the videos, and most importantly, just comment down below. I love being able to read your comments and interacting with everyone down below, so make sure to go do that for me. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So, full disclosure, this is probably like the fourth or fifth time that I've tried to record uh, this video on this new camera that I bought. I bought a camera a couple months ago and I haven't really played around with it too much, and it's got some weird settings on there. So, if the video is a little weird or weirder than normal, I apologize. I'm still kind of working out the kinks here. Hopefully, it won't be that bad and I can. <laughs> edit it and put it up, but um, I really just kind of wanted to uh, get a quick update out uh, regarding school. So um, this video is going to be mostly about full sale and kind of what's going on with that. So um, if you're interested, just go ahead and keep watching. Um, so I've had uh, some changes happen to me in the last, well, really the last week or so. Um, I started renting a room. I moved out to Las Vegas. Um, I started renting a room in April and then um, my landlord um, of the current room that I was renting out um, actually had another property open up and so he offered me that space. Um, it's like a back house so I'm not renting an entire house but it's more like a converted studio kind of thing uh, which is pretty neat because I still have like my own bathroom my kitchen, well, kitchen's a strong word, but small kitchen area. I've got a stove top and a bunch of other um, stuff, so it pretty much functions like a kitchen. Um, and then I've got like my bedroom, I guess, kind of behind me, at least my bed's back there. So, um, so anyways, I moved um, last week, and um, I've still been in school all throughout that time. I've still been working. Um, I've had a little bit of a career transition, so um, I have went from working remotely to working independently, um, so now I am currently doing DoorDash, um, and I really like it. Um, I like the flexibility, especially like with just everyday life, having to schedule like doctor's appointments and things going on, and then being able to prioritize school when I need to be able to prioritize that because um, that's been a little bit of a struggle especially in the last month or so um, and so I'm still in school um, let's get to the good part I guess still in school um, I have had to retake a couple classes so let's just kind of recap um, for those of you that maybe didn't watch any of those videos um, I started back at Full Sail University in April of this year, so April 2023. Um, I enrolled into the Computer Science Bachelor's Program with the Concentration in Mobile Development. My very first class was Creative Presentation. Aced it, not a problem, um, which I wasn't anticipating it would be. It's basically like a speech class. And then the next term I took Technology in Entertainment Media did well in that class. Um, that was actually a lot of fun and I got a lot more out of it than I think I even realized I would. Um, and then in that term I was also taking pre-calculus. I did not pass pre-calculus the first go around so I had to retake it in term three and then I retook pre-calculus with discrete mathematics and I actually did better in discrete math than I did pre-calculus, which kind of threw me for a little bit of a loop. Um, I got a like a 95% or something in discrete mathematics, so it was a pretty high A. And then in pre-calculus, I got, I barely passed, I got an 85.01 like or 0 .03 something percent. Um, just to clarify for pre-calculus, it's not like this for all classes, but this class in particular had special requirements. And so in order to be considered passing, you had to have at least an 85% or above. Otherwise, you would have to retake the class. And so 
that's what happened to me the term before. I had to retake it because I think I had like a 60 or a 70. It wasn't super high. And um, a lot of that just had to do with the... I was taking two classes at the same time. The one class was taking up a lot of my time. I didn't have enough time to do what I needed to do in pre-calculus. So I retook it. I did fine. I passed it. Now, um, with month four, I was taking calculus. I moved on to calculus and what was the other class? Uh, linear algebra. <laughs> I finally remembered the name of that class. So I was taking um, calculus and linear algebra. Um, I reached out to my academic advisor, which I was I was pretty nervous about because I hadn't had pleasant experiences with the academic. Ac ag ugh, oh my gosh, I can't talk today. The academic department at Full Sail hadn't been a smooth experience. Um, but we emailed a lot back and forth. I had originally requested a schedule change that was denied um, because it was past deadline by like a few hours or something and it, it was really upsetting but that was denied and then the advisor said that I it was actually a scheduling error but I shouldn't have been put in linear algebra because my, my whole dispute was was like the first week of linear algebra was calculus review and I hadn't taken calculus yet so I'm like how the heck do I review something that I've never taken um, I'm gonna fail this course you know um, so uh, I we kind of came to the agreement that I would withdraw from linear algebra um, and then I would continue on in calculus that I could still stay in calculus but that she wasn't able to make a schedule change because it was past deadline or whatever her reasoning was for that. So I withdrew from linear algebra and then I stayed in calculus. However, I did not pass calculus. Um, and a lot of that had to do with just, again, time being a really big issue. I do work full time or I was working full time remote for like a call center position and um, at this particular place that I was working at we had a huge um, sale that was going on there was a lot of overtime there was a lot of stress there was just a lot of things going on and um, I wasn't able to focus on school as much as I needed to so that being said I didn't pass calculus and I basically took a break uh, last month and then this month just started on Monday the 31st, I think it was the 31st, it just started this past Monday. Um, we had a week off for like our summer break, so like the very last week of July was our week off and then we started classes this Monday. So now, um, originally I was enrolled in Programming 1 and I wasn't enrolled in Calculus yet, I think, even though Calculus is set up like pre-calculus and it's an immediate reschedule so if you don't pass it then they immediately reschedule you for it except I was rescheduled for it so <laughs> I got in contact with Full Sail early before the deadline and I was like okay I need to make a change to my schedule because I'm in programming one I'm not in calculus and I was told last semester from my academic advisor but I had to have calculus in order to be able to take programming. So um, they said basically, well, you'll have to speak with your advisor about that. And I was like, well, she hasn't been super helpful in the past, so I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I thought for sure that I was going to have to withdraw again because that's what I had to do last semester. And I actually was able to or, um, speak with my advisor directly on the phone um, and that conversation actually went pretty well um, she was able to just uh, put me in calculus with no other classes um, because that was kind of a, an odd um, comment or side dispute that we were having is um, I asked to just be put into pre-calculus um, the prior semester uh, or maybe the semester before or the term before that I don't remember but 
um, the schedule change was denied because she had said that she couldn't put me in pre-calculus by itself. It had to be paired with something else. And traditionally, classes at Full Sail, at least for online students, you only take one class at a time. So I was really confused as to why that was, but I ended up taking pre-calculus with discrete math and it was fine. But I, I assumed that calculus was this, a similar situation. And I think it was, and I think what ended up happening is she had to get permission to be able to do that because um, I don't have any other classes that I can pair uh, pre-calculus with that, or sorry, not pre-calculus, calculus with um, that doesn't require having taken calculus. I don't have any other prereqs. I don't have like English or psychology or history or anything like that. I've already done all those classes. So that's the problem that I was running into is that it can't be taken by itself but I don't have anything else that I can take it with. So <laughs> this term they ended up putting me in calculus just by, my, just by itself which is wonderful. Um, I do have to have at least a 60% in order to pass the class, um, which to me is really achievable. Um, I don't see that being a problem at all. Of course, I'm going to aim for higher. I'm going to aim for that at least 85 to 90% range because I feel like if I'm getting like an 85 or 90% in the class, then I have a pretty good knowledge of what's going on in that class. And so when I go take my other classes that I need that information for, I should do okay, or it should pan out at least. So um, even though passing bare minimum is 60%, um, I'm going to try to aim higher than that. Oh. <laughs> really clumsy tonight. I'm also just really tired. It's been a really long day. Um, so that's kind of the update with school right now. Um, so I'm still in, enrolled. Um, we've had a couple bumps, um, but I'm still chugging along here. Um, I am taking calculus this term, and then next term I will be taking uh, programming one. Um, she did also advise me that um, for some reason, and I don't remember them saying this for pre-calculus, but for some reason calculus um, is a class that you're only allowed to take twice and if you don't pass it on the second time then you can't move forward in the program. So if for some reason I'm not able to pass this class then that's going to be a really big problem. Um, and then the other thing that she mentioned is I have like four other classes that are like that as well. Um, so actually if my next three classes that I'm taking um, I have to pass either the first round or the second round and if I don't pass it then I don't move forward in the program and that would be um, programming one, programming two, systems programming, and data structures and algorithms. I don't know actually when I take the algorithms class so I think that's later on but I know the next three classes are going to be all programming classes so I have to basically pass those on the first round I can take it a second time if I don't, but I, I, I'm going to try not to do that because um, it's expensive. Um, the pre-calculus and the calculus class are free classes, so those are classes that I'm actually not paying for out of my tuition, but the following classes, the future classes, those are all paid for. So um, it's going to be really expensive if I have to take any of those over again, um, so we're going to try really hard to talk to you. Um, other than that, everything's been pretty good. I'm still enjoying the program a lot. Um, all the teachers, all the instructors that I've had, they're really great um, instructors. I haven't really had any issues. The issues that I've had have been mostly personal issues as far as time and things like that. Um, I think that I think I'm having a little bit of a better understanding with uh, my academic advisor. Um, I think some stuff was just kind of lost in translation as far as emails and stuff go because when I actually talked to her yesterday on the phone, she does seem quite nice and, um, you know, seems to want to be helpful and everything else. So, um, I'm hoping that that is, you know, the case and maybe, you know, emails just kind of come off the wrong way. 
Um, I'm sure I kind of come off the wrong way too when I'm emailing people. Like, it, it's tough, right? You know, it's much easier to actually hear somebody's voice on the phone because you can hear their tone, you can hear their, you know, um, genuineness and, and all that stuff. So, um, I'm hoping moving forward that I just continue to have success. Hopefully, the bumps are out of the road. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward. Um, at this rate, I will probably graduate with my associate's degree, I think in like summer of next year, like June or July, something like that. And then from there, um, I'll enroll into the bachelor's program. So, um, you know, it seems like it's really far away, but it's honestly coming up pretty quickly. Like we're already in August. <laughs> And so pretty soon it'll be October and then Thanksgiving and then Christmas. So as long as I keep that mindset and I just kind of keep moving along and taking it day by day and week by week, class by class, I think this is something that is achievable for me. I'm having a lot of fun learning it. Um, I'm enjoying math a lot more than I thought I would. Um, don't get me wrong. I mean, there are still some things that I don't really care for it, but I think it's cool um, to be able to see how that kind of affects, like, programming and, like, things that I'm actually going to be learning about in the future, um, and kind of seeing how they work together. So, um, that's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying my time. Um, if you do have any questions, um, about Full Sail or your program or, um, you know, anything that I could help, uh, with to kind of help you make that decision, if you're looking to go back to school, uh, just leave those uh, questions down in the comments for me down below. I'd be happy to help. I do have more videos coming up now that I've got a camera, um, playing around with some different ideas. Um, I don't know if you guys would be interested at all, but I thought maybe I could like do like a couple weeks or something of like, you know, how much I made in a week in DoorDash or whatever. Like, I don't know that that's the kind of content that I'll do like full time just because um, I'm, it's not really, it's not really my channel, you know, and there's like a bunch of other channels out there that already do that kind of content. Um, but I think it would be fun, it would be interesting just to kind of, you know, get another person's perspective, you know, just like a regular average person. I don't know. I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Alright, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you're having a great day, night, morning, whenever you're watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.